welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, uh, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. The topic of the day is the kingdom of heaven. So much talk and discussions and theories about fifth dimension or other dimension or higher level of consciousness. We've all been reading about it, talking about it, fantasizing about it. putting our time and energy into reaching a higher level of consciousness. And most of us are sacrificing arriving at this higher level of consciousness, sacrificing now, here, for something else which is projected into the future. It's almost you, as if you need to be smacked in the head, break a leg, go through major heartbreak, have your country invaded, lose your home, have your lover leave you, have someone close to you die, lose your home, be diagnosed by a deadly disease. It's almost like you have to get something like this to wake up. You know, a big smack in the head to wake you up, to pay attention to what's already here that you possess. And we're hypnotized so deeply, so sleepy, that we keep running after something outside of here, somewhere else, with somebody else, maybe in India, maybe in Nepal, maybe in Tibet. In a future time, we attach whatever we can to it to postpone it to another time, date, location, where it's already here, right now. It's here, right now, within yourself, right now, in this moment. And then as I said, it seems like you need to be smack in your head to wake up like something hits you, then you wake up and you realize that it's here, actually. Right now, it's here. You carry it. But you're so addicted to your mind and your stories. Because when I talk to you, you have to tell me about these stories of how much of a hardship you've had, how much bad things have happened to you. You carry your stories. I can see it on your face. Your shoulders are so tight. You're so serious. This whole thing seems so serious. And you always have these excuses that you can't be here now and feel it because of this and because of that and because of what happened to you and because what is going on and you're going through divorce 
and your kids are taken away from you being or blah, 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 blah. And the only person you're fooling is yourself. And you keep saying that I really want to awaken, but you do everything possible to avoid it. And I don't understand you. Because you have to be really addicted to suffering. You have to have a major addiction, like a big drug addiction or a sugar addiction to your story, your story. You're so addicted to it. You can't let it go. You have to carry this plastic bag, which is full of garbage with yourself wherever you go because you can't let go of this story and you can't really take a look at who you really are all you have to do is stop for a few moments stop the madness this craziness that is going in your head and you stop And you take your attention from the other world and you bring your attention to the inner world and you be quiet. And then all of the sudden you give yourself a chance to encounter the presence of yourself, the holy self. the Atma. The Buddha. And entering into this garden of love, entering into this kingdom of heaven that Christ has spoken about. But it's nothing, some, it's not somewhere else. Even in your shift, in your ascension to fifth dimension, the consciousness shifts. It's all happening internally. It's a shift of your perception. It's a shift of your focus, of where you are focusing on. It shifts and your attention goes inwards towards peace. Because you're not involved with your thinking mind. You've gone beyond the monkey mind. And I'm not talking about working mind. I'm not talking about if you need to think about how to make a reservation for a train or a plane. Or you're planning on what to make for lunch or dinner for your kids. I'm not talking about that. That is practical mind. But I'm talking about your story and the world's story and how cruel the world is and how much you suffer because you're lonely and no one understands you or what has happened to your past and what is happening in the world and how important that is and how much people are suffering or animals are being killed or they're slaughtering them and they're destroying the land. You're so occupied with these things, which you basically can't do anything about. 